Okay, okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're not going to be here that long. We're only going to be here to talk about something. Gifting to the United States. You know about how you can give to the United States, but you have a certain limit, $1.3 million per year or something like that. Well, hey, guess what? I said, hey, uh, United States, how much can a company contribute to the United States as a gift annually and in their company's lifetime? This is what he had to say. Y'all need to pay attention, okay? Because it's in important. In the important. United States, there is no specific limit on the amount a company can contribute to the federal government. No limit? Gift, either annually no or limit. in the company's lifetime. I'm going to start me a However, record label. certain regulations and considerations apply to such contributions. Master P! One, tax deductibility. Under the Internal Revenue Code, IRC, gifts made to the United States government for public purposes may be tax deductible Your as tax charitable deductible. contributions. Specifically, IRC 17C1 states that a gift to or for the use of the United States or any of its agencies or subdivisions exclusively, for exclusively public purposes is considered a charitable contribution. It's charitable, Two, honey. Documentation and reporting. Documentation. When a makes a gift to the federal you government, don't have to. It, it says should you should. See, you reporting. should. The gift should be acknowledged should. by the receiving government agency. And appropriate records should, should be maintained for tax reporting. Purposes. Not that it has to be. Three, should should gift acceptance not. policies. Individual federal agencies may have specific policies or procedures for accepting gifts. It is advisable for companies to contact the relevant agency to understand any specific requirements or restrictions related to the acceptance of gifts. To illustrate, here are some key points. Tax deduction. The company can deduct the value of the gift as a charitable contribution on its federal income tax return, subject to certain limitations on charitable contribution deductions, generally up to 10% of taxable income for corporations. Generally. No aggregate limit. There is None. no aggregate limit on the total Absolutely amount not. the company can contribute to the federal government over its lifetime. Lifetime! For a more comprehensive understanding, uh, companies should consult the IRC and relevant Treasury regulations or seek advice from a tax professional to ensure compliance with applicable tax laws and regulations. Do you see that, ladies and gentlemen, of your $400 billion times 150, you can gift through your pay attention corporation, sole proprietorship, and there is no limit to the amount. Now, I'm not saying to be stupid. I'm not saying to be crazy. I'm not saying to be unreasonable. What I'm saying is that there is no limit. No limit. No limit. Sorry about that ice. Not ice of a master P. Sorry, no limit. No, 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 no limit. Anyway, there is no limit. Every time you do things as a person, whether you're a legal person or a natural person, there's a limit. Now, we're going to segue just for a split second before we end this video. We have quite a few people hung up on words. They get stuck on words, and we try to tell them that the words do not apply. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, we are 119 degrees outside. 119. I know, I know, you won't see any news channel reporting 119 degrees. We're 119 degrees. I'm looking at the thermometer right now. We're headed to 120. Hey, that's right. We're headed to 120. But they ain't going to report that we're 119 degrees. Nope, they sure ain't. They're going to be like, uh, <laughs> not, not, in, not in this state. All right, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, the rules of the court, the laws written by Congress, or the junk written by Congress, and so forth, are written in legalese, or legal terminology. Legal terminology is its own language. They have their own dictionary for their legal terminology. It's not English. In the document I produced the other day, I showed you it's not English. Somebody communicated me about the word I, said that they've taken the word I out of their communication and put I, we, me, be, blah, 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 with the exception of I. Ladies and gentlemen, they didn't invent the word I. I is a word. And it's not gender specific. It's gender neutral. I is a word. The God I serve says that he is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And when he says this, he says, I am the God of your forefathers. I am the God of Isaac, 
I am the God of Jacob, Jacob, and I am the God of Abraham. Oh, by the way, for those of you who say there's no J in Hebrew, then how do you pronounce Jacob in English? How do you pronounce Job in English? So please stop saying that there was no J in Hebrew. There was a Y in Hebrew. Y took the place of J. So you got to understand, stop bringing up the baseless argument. They don't work. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to let you know that there's no limit. So those of you guys who are doing, and yes, 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 people have told me, well, they're not letting me do my $400 billion. Sorry, they only let me do it once. Approved. So I apologize for the rest of y'all. All right, they did only let me do it once. So you just got to stick to the original program. Original program. If you want to do it for more, go call the IRS. Say, I need some 1099C. They're going to ask you for what year. Say, uh-uh, y'all don't put the year on it no more, so it don't matter. So send it to me for the current year. How many you need? 150. Okay, we'll send you 150. Thank you. Now get the, off my phone. And okay, we're getting up off your phone. Stupid, stupid mother. Click. There you go. Just that simple. Hey, I got to go because I had a consult this morning. The consult was canceled. And because the consult was canceled, pay attention. I now have free time to go and finish the document for you guys. There's a lot of work to be done. I don't know if I'm going to get it done by the 1st. I definitely don't know if I'm going to get it done by the 4th, but I'm going to try. A lot of work, people. Take care. Oh, and stop emailing and questioning and asking questions about it. We already told you. It's not being advertised right now. I'm just mentioning it. Okay? So stop emailing about it. It ain't none of your business right now. You just know that it's coming. I don't care about your anticipation. Okay, got work to do, so stop bugging my peoples. Gone.